when you get a surprise visit. Hey guys, Judy Moore here. So we have Drake who's four and Baxter who's one. For the past 30 years, I've become a student of animal behavior, mastering humane training methods for problem dogs. I help thousands of clients better understand their dog's responses and improve their dog's skills to bring companionship and joy to dogs and their owners. Hey guys, Judy Moore here. In this next video clip, there are three takeaways that I want you to observe that these two dogs are not a good match. The play style of one is much more exuberant than the other. One, you're gonna see when the excitable puppy comes in and starts jumping, the puppy's arousal is high, the one-year-old, its gross motor skills are pretty activated. Not only are they activated, they make very hard physical contact with me and with my German Shepherd Drake. Drake is being incredibly tolerant. It's not his nature to reprimand. He's not gonna do it. When that puppy's making hard physical contact, you're observing Drake moving his head and face away. So I'm not enjoying this. So that was the first one, first sign. Number two, Drake tries to turn and walk away. The puppy won't let him. He can't escape from his, his uh, space. Number three, I take a hold of the puppy and slow him down. And Drake turns that sideways, says I'm not interested in playing with you. You're too much for me. So if you have a, a neighborhood puppy or dog that comes running into your yard and you're watching play, look for your dog to turn their face away, to try and turn their back on the puppy, to walk away. And then thirdly, grab that collar or, or harness if you can trust the puppy, don't get bit, and slow that dog down and watch what your dog says. If your dog wants to engage, they'll come back up and play bell. But if they walk away, then you know it's not a good match and you need to step in for the really tolerant dog. Drake is incredibly tolerant. I could have let that go on. He would not reprimand the puppy, but it's not, not fair to take advantage of a dog's uh, tolerance there. Enjoy. Come here, Baxter. Come here, Drake. Good boy. He's very excited. Of course, he's also younger. They're starting to jump on Drake. And if the puppy is rude, this particular shepherd's just going to disconnect. <laughs> Come back here, guys. <laughs> Drake says, I got to go tinkle. And even while the shepherd's tinkling, <laughs> the puppy's trying to engage. Come here, guys. Looks like Drake's got a little stick in his sore foot. Hi, buddy. Here, Drake. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Good job. So we've got quite a bit of arousal in this puppy. And Drake's being very tolerant. Good boy, Drake. Very tolerant. Good boy. <laughs> so what I would say, Drake's trying to slow this puppy down. Come here, Drake. But you notice Drake's sort of turning away a couple times. Hey Baxter, slow it down. So I could slow this pup down. Drake's gonna get a toy. Come here, Drake. Slowing this puppy down a little bit. <laughs> Drake, you come. And so what we're seeing here is Drake's trying to come to me and this puppy's just sort of jumping at Drake's face. A less tolerant dog would reprimand this guy. And there he goes jumping on. It's not Drake's nature to reprimand. You see Drake's got his eyes. Drake's trying to come into me for support. Drake, good boy. I'm gonna slow him down. I'm gonna slow him down. So you watch when I hold this brown puppy back, Baxter, Drake's like, I'm good, mom. This pup's a little too much for me. So when we talk about playmates and matches, this isn't a really good match because Drake's saying, no, thank you, right? So we'll just have to put the pup on leash. It's just not a good match today. Good job, Drake. Good job.